I went out to start the car last night and click, 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 click. We had a, uh, while well, I filmed the video about wet waxing the car, you saw the moisture and then it uh, went down to like minus 14 again yesterday. So it's about minus 11 right now. I had the uh, battery on charge all night. So we've got the uh, load tester here. We're going to test this battery and see if it uh, if it's any good anymore. So it's got some surface charge on it because it's, well, it's overcharging actually, so. Hmm, that may not be good. Yeah, so load testing wise, I mean, it went down, it didn't even go below 10 volts, and now it's uh, above 12, so. Yeah, I don't know. There could have been something in the car staying on, and that's what caused the uh, the battery to be down. Because these cars have so many different accessories that uh, have to sort of go to sleep. Cross your fingers. Turn all the lights off. And there we go. Yeah, so it just got down. I don't know if it was just that quick drop in temperature that did it or what the deal is. So we'll uh, investigate further here today and see if maybe we need to put a new battery in this thing. Yeah, so I did some more load testing there on the battery with it running and then I shut it down, started it again and everything seems to check out. So I don't know if something stayed on or if it was just that quick drop in temperature or uh, what the deal is, so. She's frosty. See the camera vibrating there <laughs> nicely. This road is garbage. They paved it just a couple of years ago, but I think every winter it gets all washboardy again. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm sort of thinking that we only have a couple options because I'm not getting any warning messages here or anything. Um, and like I say, when I load tested the battery again, it looked good. You know, running the car and with some load on it, it looked good. Um, probably something either stayed on longer than it was supposed to and drained the battery or... Well, I mean, something definitely did stay on longer than it was supposed to, but uh, I don't know, the battery control module, um, I don't know if that could be an issue or uh, what, so I will say, even though it is kind of miserable out, it's kind of pretty right now. Pretty nice out, huh? Oh, well, battery's going dead, so that's gonna be it for this portion of it. <laughs> the cold kills another battery. <laughs> so I've been working on the car here for a few hours now, and uh, after I got back, I noticed when I shut the vehicle off that the uh, fan kept coming on. Um, even with the key out of the ignition, whether it's locked or unlocked. Um, but you know, the key in the off position, the radiator fan, uh, kept on coming on. So, I started searching around, and uh, as you can see, I got the car jacked up. I'd found somewhere online where somebody had said that the uh, control module for it uh, was easiest to access by taking out the wheel liner, but uh, not on this model. It was a, it must have been a different chassis, C-Class he was talking about. 
So I uh, got the car jacked up and I took off the uh, front, uh, here I'll flip this around so I don't know if you can get a view of that or not, the uh, front uh, cover there underneath. Um, and I did take the wheel liner out before I realized that uh, <laughs> it wasn't really going to help me. But uh, yeah, I could get out. There's a connector um, for the radiator down in there. I don't know if I can get a view of that or not. You can sort of see it right in the very center there. Anyway, I unplugged that, sprayed a bunch of contact cleaner in it. Um, it wasn't really that dirty, but I thought maybe some moisture might have gotten in it. And uh, any of the other connectors that were down there, I sort of uh, sprayed them down and uh, wiggled some wires around. And it still came on once after that. So then I, because uh, voltage was getting down anyway here, I uh, put the battery charger on it. But before I did that, I actually I loosened off that negative terminal and sort of wiggled it around a bit on there to see if maybe... Uh, there was a loss of grounding issue that was causing me problems and uh, the battery's starting to come up and the fan hasn't come back on again so I don't know if that was it or not um, so I don't know I'm kind of uh, I've, I think I've exhausted all my my options here as far as uh, things that I think it could be so we'll see I'm gonna bring it up um, to charge here and uh, I may try uh, disconnecting the battery altogether and resetting the computer um, but if that doesn't work I've got uh, about another two or three hours here before the uh, Mercedes dealership in Halifax closes if I can't figure it out and I'm still having the problem I'll give them a call and book an appointment because I think we're kinda past the point of stuff that I can do because um, it's nothing obvious other than what I've done. So, anyway, I'll update you again here in a bit if I can uh, figure this out or not. So, I ended up making an appointment at Mercedes. I could not figure out what was wrong. I plugged in my OBD2 uh, Bluetooth thingamajig and uh, no error codes. I checked a bunch of connectors and sensors and everything else I could think of. I was stumped. So I brought it in, they uh, checked it all out, and uh, the mechanic wanted to talk to me after a, you know, a little over an hour. He couldn't find anything wrong. I told him what I did, and uh, we sort of agreed that it could possibly still be the battery, so he wanted to go back and test it a bit more. He went back and did that, uploaded uh, the newest software updates to the computer. Uh, still nothing. So his best guess was that it was the battery, uh, if I want to go ahead and replace that because I bought the car through a Regans uh, they have been absolutely great by the way I just I can't recommend them highly enough they were willing to go uh, halves on the battery if I wanted to get a Mercedes battery and uh, they were going to cover the costs of uh, the diagnostics and stuff like that which is absolutely great I chose not to take that option just because I mean batteries you can get good quality batteries a bunch of different places for a much better prices even taking half off so I chose not to take that deal everybody was happy with that and uh, went on my way put a new battery in the car uh, I was gonna go with an AGM battery glass pack battery I went and actually picked that up on my way back from the city and uh, turns out Canadian Tire has the wrong listing for their AGM batteries for the 2008 Mercedes C230 so beware they have it listed as an L5 um, or a 95R it's actually supposed to be a 94R or L, L4 battery size yeah, it's the L5 is just too long to fit in there so uh, anyway I'm going to do a whole video about that because that was a complete mess with the Canadian Tire here in Greenwood trying to get that exchange done and complete nightmare. I'm going to fill everybody in on that whole thing. But I put the new battery in. It's been almost a week. In two days it'll be a week. The fan has not come back on again. We've had temperatures from minus 10 to plus 10 and everything in between. No issues whatsoever. So it was the battery. Uh, in the beginning uh, of these video clips here when, when you see them, I had mentioned that the battery was, uh, was kind of overcharging and I had read something about that quite a while back that when batteries overvolt uh, when you charge them like even with, well, like with the uh, the surface 
plate current that's that's on them they'll always come up to a higher voltage a lot of times you'll find they'll be around like 13.7 13.8 volts as soon as you put a load on them they'll drop back down and should settle out around 12.6 uh, 12.7 this one was staying at like 14.4 14.5 volts when you'd fully charge it up so that could have been an indication that it was bad i don't know how much validity that that test has but uh, i know in my case this battery was no good. On these vehicles, when the when it detects a fault in the battery or there's, you know, a voltage starts getting low, the fan automatically ramps up to try to cool out the engine uh, in case you were in a situation where the temperature was really high, uh, it, just to try to preserve it, right? And uh, one of the other mechanics also mentioned that uh, the other logic behind it could be that if it detects a problem with the battery, it wants to bring the fan on to kill that battery. So you'll just go ahead and replace it. You don't end up in a situation where, you know, it's just going to be totally unusable and you end up really stuck. Yeah, I hope that helps you guys out. Um, it was definitely a case where knowing having a little bit too much knowledge was a bad thing because if I would have just replaced the battery to begin with, it would have saved me a bit of time. Though it was good to be able to go through the car and sort of take off all the covers and figure out where all these different modules and sensors and fuses and relays and stuff are in the vehicle. Um, yeah, but you could save yourself some headache if the battery, if you're, if you're getting on five years on a battery, you should probably just go and replace it anyway because that's all they last. If it's a glass pack battery, you of course get a little bit more out of them, usually about eight years. The battery that was in my car was eight years old, almost nine I think actually, because it was the battery that came in the vehicle. So it was more than time to replace it anyway. So I don't know. I hope this uh, helps you guys out. I know it's a big problem, fan issues and electrical issues, it can be. So um, yeah, the only thing I can say is if your fan's coming on, and uh, you notice that your temperature is fluctuating quite a bit, not staying between 80 and 90 degrees. It's probably a coolant temperature sensor. Don't go replacing your fans, fan modules, and uh, or ECM and stuff like that until you uh, check that battery out because it's a lot cheaper fix and most likely that's what's wrong. I hope this helps you guys out and uh, we'll see you next time around.